We're doing something so special today. I'm going to connect with you, the Juice Crew community. We're over at JuiceGrewTribe.com, and that's where I'm in there every day, posting, gathering community, and gathering all the love with motivation and support. And today, I want to connect with you. Uh, this is our community. It's 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 for you, uh, and I'm here to motivate you and support you and take you by the hand and, and show you what's possible when we go down the path of healthy living with juicing and making the right choices. So I want to open it to you, turn the microphone to you, and I'm going to take all your questions. We're going to leave no stone unturned on this. This awesome juicing show. I mean, we call it a juicing show. Oh, uh, that's right. I'm your friendly neighborhood juicer, Steve Prusak. I'm the juice guru. I'm the author of the complete idiot's guide to juice fasting. When we talk about cleaning out our body and to really complete the juice guru method, nothing is complete without the juice guru. The one I wrote with my beautiful wife, Julie, transform your life by adding one juice a day. We're going to talk all about the benefits. This, this plus this equals the juice guru method. And I want to talk to you about that. But more importantly, I want to take your questions Really, uh, I want to get vulnerable with you, share with you, and hear from you because it's all about connecting and opening up to each other. And, you know, it's not about a meme. It's about how do we get deeper with all this? How do we overcome the struggles? And for me, I mean, here I am 50 years old, and I've never felt better. I don't take any medications, uh, no surgery, no stimulants. I get my health from the sun. Um, and I want to inspire a revolution, a juicing revolution. I'm the founder of, and director of Juice Guru Institute, where we certify people to become experts in juicing and to lead the movement along with us. And uh, we're going to talk about that, too. So, so much to share uh, in my own journey, because when I got out of college, I was overweight, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, smoking over a pack of cigarettes a day. And it was during that first juice cleanse that the nicotine came out the tips of my fingers. It smelled like nicotine. It turned my life around. It led me down a road where now I feel better than ever. Um, I'm seeing my friends and family to succumb to all kinds of ailments. And how do we stay clear of that? Well, we've got the solution. All we need is you to open your ears and your eyes to what's possible. And also to letting go of self-doubt and failure from the past. So if we can have an agreement, a commitment, type it in the box. Can we get to commit that you're going to take everything you knew about health, everything you know about failing, and just put it away, put it on hold, delete it, and let's start a new program together because it starts there. Can anybody commit to that? Go ahead and put it in the box. Let me know if you can. And if we can, then we can move forward. And also I want to take your questions too. I'm looking, I'm looking, um, looking in the community. Anybody? Anybody can commit? Bonnie liked that song? Yeah, I love that. Um, that's the Dead Prez Get Healthy. I just, every time I do a live event, I know you were on the uh, workshop last night, and yeah, I mean, that that just, you know, I, I just, um, it inspires me. You know, we, we've got to find the things that inspire us, and that song just speaks to my heart. Hmm. Well, Audrey, you can. Well, thank you. Audrey has committed, and so that means we're going to go on with the program. At least, at least we've got one person committing, and I know the rest of you are going to commit when we talk more about this and why we want to commit to letting go of failure and moving forward into success. So when we develop the daily juice habit, and by that we're talking about a juice, you know, that's really what this is about. If I could just give you the cliff notes right here. It's about a daily juice uh, once a day, first thing, on an empty stomach because we did a fast. Every night we're doing a fast. We're not doing a juice fast. We're doing a dry fast. We're going to sleep. There's nobody feeding us, right? We're not eating, and our body starts to cleanse on a molecular level. And so when we wake up and we ruin it by a heavy breakfast, that's not the key. Instead, we're having a green juice or we're having a detoxifying fruit juice to flush out some of the toxins. And then we develop the good energy, right? The good energy to get us through the day and to get our bodies lean so we're not dragging around all those extra. I know what that's like. You know, when I was dragging around all that extra weight and we look at even what 10 pounds of fat look like, looks like. And when we can release that with this method by, what is it? daily juicing and the juice cleansing 
you know, four times a year with the changing seasons. And don't have a fear in that because I'm going to take you by the hand and show you how easy that could be. Uh, I never thought I could do it. I mean, I grew up on fast foods, you name it, binging on uh, uh, mozzarella sticks. Um, I, I don't. It's almost embarrassing. When I think I, I said this last time, but they might as well have called me. Uh, Steve Pizza Prusak because I was just eating pizza all the time and I lived in Brooklyn what do you expect they, they had good pizza there but I was eating it all the time and I paid the price for that uh, when we develop these new habits though we start to crave healthier things that's the secret when we start getting the juice in our body we're like I just want more fruits and vegetables I, I don't want that other stuff that's holding me back that's fogging up my brain that's making me drag around this extra weight that's making my skin um, age before it's time. And, you know, here's the thing. It's not only about vanity. It's about clarity, and it's about waking up. And it's about seeing what's going on around us so we can change the world together. And that's why I developed the certification program, so we can create an army of people that really want to create change and, and live their passion by getting the message out about this method, the juicing and the cleansing and the gravitating towards better food choices. We have more energy. We want to move our bodies more. And um, all the things, and, and so I've been there, okay, I've been down at, at the worst level where I couldn't even get out of bed in the morning, and I watched infomercials at night, I was depressed, and I, I just, I never saw a future, I, I didn't want to, and um, I, it, it, it's hard to look back on that, and what, where, how did it pay, you know, where did it pay, let, let me take your questions though, but I'll just, I'll sum up by saying, when I, when I wrap this all together and tie it into a bow, and this is about you. This is all about juicing, and we're doing a Q&A, and I'm here with you, and I'm excited to be here with you. And, of course, I, I'm your friend, right? I'm Steve Prusak, and I'm going to make it happen for you. So let's go ahead and start taking some questions. That's the bow I want to tie it up into. So let me see. I'm going to go into – If just type in your questions below. I'll go in order, and I'll answer them as we go. And um, and we're going to have a lot of fun here. So let me see what we've got from your friend, Steve Prusak, the Juice Guru. Let me see what we got here. Um, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, and we see Alice had a question. So I'm going to see if I can get that over here. Um, no, that's not popping up on the screen. So let me... It, you know, it does a cool thing where I can I can get the questions on the screen, but it's not doing that right now, Alice. So I'm going to go ahead and read it. Uh, it said, what is a great juice to cleanse the blood and system to help... Wait, what is a great juice to cleanse the blood and system to help brain health? And that's a great one. And it all starts with the the method. It all starts with transitioning to... The juice diet, you know, the daily juice, and grabbing the template recipe, which is free. And, I mean, it's in our book, too. With this template recipe, I was like, this template recipe is really all you need, guys, to um, to get people juicing. Because this one recipe, you can make literally dozens and dozens of juices. I don't know. Do you have that, Alice? Do you have this recipe? Why do I like it? It's antimicrobial, antibacterial, and it um, it reduces inflammation. I love this juice. And... um. And it's a green juice, so it's not, you know, we're not getting a sugar rush from it. And it's a great place to start uh, when we're going down the path. I and mean, we also have over 100 recipes in here, but that's the, that's the one to start with, to start the daily juice habit. From there, we're going to move into the cleansing. And we do that with you, with the changing seasons. So we're gearing up now for the fall cleanse. You'll hear more about it in the Juice Crew community, community at JuiceCrewTribe.com because that's where... We connect. That's where I um, I connect with you and help you do the cleanse easily. We've got the book if you want it to, but um, we, I like to do this as a group. So whether it be one day, three days, or ten days, we're taking that juice break. And we start to flush the toxins from our body. We do a combination of the green juices plus fruit juices, which is, you know, the green juices build our body. The fruit juices help flush out the toxins. But depending where we were with our diet, we can't just jump right in to a cleanse. We can't just jump right into fruit juices because that's really detoxifying and we can have a lot of uh, bad effects, ill effects of that. So what we call the healing crisis. And we want to avoid the healing crisis and uh, we want to do this as gentle as possible. And so that's why I like to lead these cleanse programs so we can meet you where you are. 
And, um, and we do that in the community of JuiceGuruTribe.com. So it's really, it's not that it's what great, what great juice is going to be the magic wand to clear up the brain fog. It's the lifestyle. It's doing the daily juice, you know, starting that habit, first thing on an empty stomach, late morning, and then for, you know, our, our first meal of the day, we're craving more fruits and vegetables. And usually, I, you know, I want like a big bowl of fruit or like a huge salad. And because we start, our taste buds change and we start to crave more of the healthy stuff. And then when we start doing the cleansing four times a year with the new season that's coming in, and don't worry if you haven't done it before, you know, with the changing seasons is best. And we start where you are and we do these gentle cleanses and you'll see your body starts to let go of the stored toxins. When we think, you know, the average person carries between 10 and 20 pounds of uneliminated waste in their body, you could imagine why it's so hard for us to think and that we have issues with our brain and a lot of diseases that are slowing us down as humans, especially as we get older. How do we stay sharp? It's through the Juice Guru method, making the right choices and gravitating, working our way through it. So, Alice, thank you for that question. I hope that worked. Christina, welcome, who's in Jamaica. Great to see you here. And uh, any other questions, go ahead and type them in. Next question coming now. And I see we've got one from I, another. Is that another one from Alice? What to take to get a good night's sleep. Now, if you're talking about insomnia, what we're looking at doing here is it's not so much of taking melatonin and pills. It's how can we, you know, get on this lifestyle, do the daily juice and, you know, the juice guru method. We could just call it that, right? The cleansing and the daily juice. And we start to empty out and cleanse our body. And then we're more in alignment with the proper foods we should be eating. And we become more awake and aware and we're moving our bodies more throughout the day. So by the time we earn our sleep by the end of the day, we're, we're, we hit the pillow and we're kind of ready to transition into sleep. You know, some of the things that help would be lavender oil, like right there on your pillow. Just some drops of lavender oil right there on the pillow helps. Um, there, there's, also, uh, there's also, I mean, pistachio nuts. You can take one or two before bed to, for the natural melatonin boost if you really need that. But I would say start with the easy, start with the lavender oil and this habit, you know, the getting the body clean. Once our body is clean and we're operating at the optimal level, well, you'd be surprised how everything else seems to line up, you know, whether it be our brain health, sleeping patterns or anything else. And even our breath starts to improve. Everything starts to improve about us. Uh, Our disposition, we become happier people. And we're living in a world now where there's a lot of insanity. And so... We want to stay in the positive alignment. This guy wore this shirt for you today, the the good energy, right? I'm wearing a shirt that says good energy, and it's got a lightning bolt down the middle because it's all about staying in the light and being positive and seeing the good in the world rather than, you know, we're all doomed and, you know, why does, why does this even matter? It matters because we need to inspire more people, starting with ourselves, to develop these habits, and I know that's why you're here. I'm speaking to you because you're part of the Juice Guru community. You get it. And, you know, maybe you slip off sometimes and maybe you hold on to the failures. We let go of the failures. We stay in the light of positivity. And then we start to inspire our friends and family to come down this path with us. And that's that's what's fun about it. And that's why I love this. So that's what we want to do when we're sleeping. Go ahead. Let's get some more questions in here because I'm ready for the next one. Oh, I, I didn't. Um, let's get the next one going. Yeah, let me see here. Hmm. Tia, welcome. Thank you for being here. Just joined. What do you recommend for those on a cancer journey? That's, yeah, that's one that's to my that's true to my heart because I lost my mom to cancer when I was four years old and she was 28. She was beautiful and we lost her to cancer. And something, you know, when we think about our why we do the work we do or why we're so passionate about this lifestyle, like for me, it all goes back to that because when I saw I lost my mom at such a young age and she was beautiful and you wouldn't think she was unhealthy, but she had Hodgkin's disease and, and I lost her. It affected the rest of my life. Cancer is the thing that really, you know, that, that triggers something in me because of how horrible it is and devastating and how all of us are affected one way or another because those we love, uh, you, you know, statistics show that a lot of people end up with cancer. So 
for those on the cancer journey, first of all, we, you know, I did a program with Dr. Thomas Lodi. It was called Healing from Cancer Naturally. And we, we uh, released that. That was several years ago. And it was phenomenal. And I'll tell you what I learned from Dr. Lodi. I'm not a doctor, so I'm not, I'm, I would never prescribe a protocol for someone with cancer. And even a, a doctor has to be very careful about that because every case is completely different. And so when we think about the cancer journey and that program I did with Dr. Lodi and some, I'll, I'll share with you some of the things, some of the uh, key points that, that we, we taught in that program and it's no longer available. I have it and we, we include it in some of our packages sometimes, or when people email me and they're, they're dealing with cancer and they say, what should I do? And I, I, I I'll offer it. Um, but yeah, typically I don't go down that Avenue uh, because Dr. Lodi's got it handled. He's, he's running that clinic in Arizona, an oasis of healing, and he's using juicing with um, eating proper fruits and vegetables and some low-impact uh, conventional therapies. He's kind of an integrative model there. But uh, just to sum it up to you, and thanks for asking, um, what I wanted to say about that is, first of all, it was the eating, you know, the transitioning, the, the cleansing the body, the, the juice guru method, the drinking the juices, the green juices, and starting that with a daily habit, even getting the green smoothies in there, and starting to transition and cleansing the body and, and letting go of those bad eating habits. And a lot of times, even there at the clinic, when they get at an oasis of healing, they get people on these protocols, they, they help with their cancer, and then they go home and they, they fall off the wagon. That's how hard it is for people to make better choices when it comes to the foods that we're eating and how can you know how it's polluting our body and causing a lot of the devastation. So let's just say when it comes to cancer that we want to the juice habit, the, the juice crew method is a really great place to start on top of whatever therapies that you're working with your doctor or naturopath uh, along the journey. So thank you for that, Tia. And we're wishing you luck about, you know, whoever it is that's affected with cancer and um and, and that, you know, you're you're looking for the solution on how we can heal naturally and not just, you know, accepting everything that's out there in the world because we've got to be careful. Okay. Any other questions? I want to go to the next one here in a minute because this is so much fun. And you're here live. We're on uh, Ask About Ask about Juicing. It's anything and everything you want to know about juicing, any stumbling blocks you have about juicing. Let me know. Do, are you, um, you know, is it hard to make this a habit? Do you wonder... You know, what is it that really is keeping you off the path? What is it that's stopping you from inspiring others about being the best you can be so that your loved ones, uh, family and friends start to get inspired by what you're doing? And then we start to whip it up into a frenzy and then we have the certification program. And I know we have some friends here that are on that. And, and, and that summer session is about to close on that. I'm going to give you guys the link to watch the uh, webinar we did on that so you can get in on that if you're looking to go deeper with all this and um, inspire and be part of the revolution. But thank you, Tia. Wish you luck with that. And um, if you're interested in the healing from cancer naturally, I can totally help you out. Send me an email at support at juiceguru.com. And um, we, we used to offer that for hundreds of dollars. And I'll, I'll, I'll get it to you um, at a very uh, reasonable offer for that program just so you can have it. Let me see what else there is. And anyone else who's affected by cancer, same thing, or, or, or for loved one is. It's, it's an amazing program, but it doesn't replace working with a practitioner. It's a home program. It's a preventative program, but it's not a cure from cancer program. Oh, and one more thing that we shared in that program, too, is the importance of laughing. I had the laughing yogini on there, and he shared about the importance of laughing for therapeutic reasons. So we want to be in the light. We want to be happy. And so if we're in a disease state and, you know, and we, we can sink deeper into our disease and, and that's what can really kill us. So we have to, we have to, it starts with our positive mental attitude. So let's begin there. I'm looking in the Juice Crew community. Hey guys. Oh, hey, I see, uh, Dara's there. Dara from Words with Friends. I see you. Hello. Welcome. Glad to see you here. Uh, and Bonnie. Bonnie, who I know is uh, going to be registering for the certification program, or she's trying. She's getting the uh, tuition together. 
Uh, I developed a sugar addiction again and want to become consistent juicing, but my taste buds went back to wanting the crap. I don't know, Bonnie, were you in our Sugar Busters program? Let me know in the box. Let me know in the box below if you were in our Sugar Busters program. I'm wondering because that program I know has been transformational for me. That And when we talk about sugar addicts, I could say that I, I was like the king of sugar addiction. What do you expect? I mean, I was eating Pop-Tarts as a kid. Um, the sugar cereals. It's funny. I'll, I'll show you. Let me just show you this. Because this is funny right here. This, this kind of... This explains it. This will explain it for you. Um, I, I kind of put this all here as a reminder, right? Like, I have a few things here that I, I put as a reminder of who I once was so I could remember how far I've come. And if you guys recognize this, and what I'm holding up here is a character from a cereal box, or let me know if you recognize this guy right here. Or, I, I mean, it's kind of weird that I have these, right? But, and I have this right here on my desk, right? We, we have to know why it is we do what we do. And, and the final thing I wanted to share that I've got here on my desk, besides the fact that I've got my yoga chair here, because, you know, we've got to work on the abs while we're sitting here. But what I've got here is... I have my why. I, you know, I surround myself with the inspiration. And if you look at this right here, and if you guys are on the workshop last night, and if not, you'll, if, I'm going to give you a link to watch it. What I'm showing you here is an image by Steve Cutts. And um, I, I have that right on my wall. And it's just showing you know, a, a, a real, it, what he calls the future. It's a couch potato. He's being force-fed Coca-Cola. And, well, I shouldn't mention any brands, but soda. And, and there's fast food being pumped into him and there's medication being pumped into him. And I have these things around me because that's where I've been. I mean, I, I was the biggest junk food junkie ever, okay, ever. And I'm talking ever, okay, like this was like Twinkies, you know. Um, everything that you could imagine what went into the body that created someone that was on the verge of being obese with high cholesterol, high blood pressure and miserable, depressed. And it was because of what I ate because once I turned it all around, my life completely changed and the mental attitude changed too. So it's, it's kind of a, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a combination of things. So anyway, that's that. Thank you. Oh, oh I didn't really answer your question though. Um, Bonnie. Oh, you weren't in sugar busters. Well, Basically, that, that's our sugar detox program, and that got me off sugar, just following that protocol of weaning myself off sugar. And I didn't realize, as, as healthy as I was, or thought I was, I was still dragging around extra weight. I still kind of had a belly and love handles, and I couldn't understand why I was exercising, drinking juice, and, and it was the sugar. I didn't realize, even the natural products, how much sugar w was hidden in here from the... You know, and I thought coconut sugar, agave, um, maple syrup. I thought it was all okay. You know, I thought it was better forms of sugar, but it was totally holding me back. And it was keeping me addicted. Once we can kick the sugar habit by weaning ourselves off it, now I could have some sugar in things and not become addicted. You know, it's all about finding the balance in things and, um, and not getting back into addiction because we all have that emotional eating thing and we all, we all, you know, we were all brought up on things that we probably shouldn't have been eating. So what's it going to take to let go of some of those addictions and transition to a higher way of living? And what I say is the daily juicing with the cleansing three to four times a year, which we call the juice guru method, is what helps us to realign our taste buds change we start to crave the healthier fruits and vegetables and um and it just everything our body becomes we become more in alignment um so thank you for that question and now i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to go ahead and see if we've got any other questions because you're live here on the q a with steve i'm again you know i'm steve prusak and it's great to connect here in our community. It's JuiceGuruTribe.com. And I do these every week. So, you, you know, we talk about all kinds of things from keeping the juicing habit, making better choices, 
uh, and how we avoid all the outside forces that are trying to keep us from being healthy. How do we stay the path? And that can be through relationships. How do we um, overcome the negative relationships in our lives? How do we overcome the marketing messages that are around us that were there since we were kids, right? That, you know, it's like, oh, but, you know, these mascots, how do we overcome all that? And how do we stay the path? And those are some of the things we talk about all, every week at JuiceGuruTribe.com. And that's where I'm going to be with you. Now, I had mentioned if you guys want to check out the class we did last night, uh, summer session is closing. And I just want to give you the link. It's JuicingClass.com. JuicingClass.com. And that's where you can just sign up and get the replay of what has been. I actually, someone emailed me today, Jacqueline. And she told me that this was the best presentation I've ever done. It went right to my heart. I actually want to almost pull up that email just to read it to you because I was like, Jacqueline, really? I mean, she, and she's actually in our certification program. Um, she's becoming a certified juice therapist. And it's funny because a lot of times um, they just they, they show up on my live events. And I'm pulling up the email right now. I actually wasn't going to do this. And so let me just read it to you right now. Um, here it is. She wrote, I've got it on my screen. Hi, hey, Steve, you may have missed my little shout out at the end of yesterday's webinar. Anyway, I just wanted you to know that your presentation was outstanding, all capitals, without a doubt, one of the best you've ever done. And I've been to quite a few. Everyone was really pumped up and raring to go with your program. Uh, Julie does a great job each time with her intro for you. And um, she was just saying, I can't wait for your juicing lab next week. So I, I just want you to see this because... I know you'll be sending me an email and saying, wow, yeah. So whether you enroll in the summer session, I've got something special for you to enroll on that webinar that we've never done before uh, to make it so you can enroll. And I know, uh, Bonnie, you know what that special thing is. Don't share. Let's, let, let's go to that website. And if you guys sign up, uh, again, it's juicingclass.com. You can get in on that action. So anyway, that's what we had with that. And Anyway, yes, yes, yes. I'm here with you live. I'm Steve Prusak. I'm connecting with you in the Juice Crew community. And again, we do this every 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 week. So make sure you sign up for the uh, notifications. I shared a post in the community about the notifications. Click here if you want to get notified. It goes into your Facebook Messenger inbox. And then I share with you when we're going live. Any other questions before we close out here? Jerry, hello, welcome. Thank you for being here. Thanks. Uh, I really do appreciate that. And I see there are a couple more, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a sip of water here, and then I'm gonna get to the next question. So, uh, Jerry, how about gut health? And um, you know, we can get into the probiotics, prebiotics, and how we can keep prebiotic, prebiotics, and how we keep our our guts healthy. I can pull out the colon chart, the colon therapy chart, and we can talk about why it is that the colon, it all starts in our gut. And when our gut is full of mucus and undigested proteins and medication that hasn't been digested since we were kids, um, and, you know, that last meal that your body is just struggling to break down, it's no wonder that we're a mess and, you know, I, it's you know, what did they pull 50 pounds of, of mucoid plaque out of John Wayne's body uh, when he when he passed? And it's the norm. So when we're talking about gut health, what we're talking about is the daily juice habit with the cleansing three to four times a year. So we can start developing a lifestyle to get our gut clean. Our gut is everything, uh, whether that means colonics and enemas too, to help the, the process. It's about that's the first thing. I mean, when you think about when someone's going to buy a horse, they're looking at the tongue and the anus. We're looking at the system and how it works. We have to look at our tongue, right? What Dr. Arnold Ariat refers to as the magic mirror. And when we, when we start to do a cleanse and we see how much the mucus is on the tongue, we get a real indication of how toxic our body is and what's coming out the other end and, and how often we're able to eliminate and just being in tune with all that and, so that's why I say it starts with the daily juicing, the cleansing three to four times a year, 
Um, and we can integrate the colonics and enemas when we're doing these cleanse periods to help our body eliminate what's stored in here. Because why is it worth it? Because once we clear out the gut, we are sharper in our brain, right? They talk about, you know, the, the gut connection to intuition and the heart. We start to think better, we start to connect better with people. Um, and we do need to connect more with people. We're living in a world where people are just on their devices and they're not connecting the same way. And so that we used to, like when we grew up, we actually hung out together. You know, it's just not like that anymore. So let's get our colons clean, our, our intestines clean, and get that stuff that we've been holding for years. And what we also find is our emotions start to clear up. We start to develop better well, better psychological space, and um, and and it can be sensitive. A lot of things can rise to the surface when we're talking about getting clean that way. But you know, this is the warrior journey, and it's worth it. And we always say, better out than in. So one step at a time. No matter where you are on the journey, if you had never cleansed before, a one day juice cleanse is a great protocol. Try doing that once a week, and that can be as easy from dinner to dinner. You just eat your last meal at dinner, and then. You go to sleep and you have some lemon water in the morning. You have a big green juice, you know, in the afternoon. Uh, you drink some water during the day and then you have your meal at night. Why don't you try doing that? W would that be a challenge? Can anyone do that? Can anyone commit to doing that once a week? Would that be helpful? Thank you, Jerry. I'm glad that was helpful for you. Because why is it that I'm not saying go buy some supplements or probiotics or you know juice plus you know pills to be careful about mentioning names why because our body is the best teacher our body once we get out of the way and overthink things there's simplicity and truth there are truth and simplicity i reverse that but there's truth and simplicity and it, and it is a simple message so and it makes sense and when you hear something and you're like huh that makes sense and if what I'm saying makes sense to you, then you know that it's going to work. You, you, or you've got to try it. And I always say, try it for yourself. Maybe everything I'm saying isn't true. Maybe, you know, maybe that green powder is going to be a better route for you to take. I say give it a try. And when we're talking about juicing, we're talking about cold press, fresh juice from a juicer. You're the juicery. You, you're not buying it down the aisle. You know, and if you need a juicer, I'll help you get one. So just let me know. Uh, we'll give you a community discount. But that, if you're part of the Juice Crew Tribe at JuiceCrewTribe.com, I always give a family community discount. And I always say, what's your budget? And let me get you a cold-pressed juicer. I'll totally help you with that. To me, the most important, I don't make money on that. <laughs> I do that as a service to my community. And if anyone's gotten one from me, just post below. Let me know if I got you a juicer. And you know it's true. So... My goal is to get a good juicer in everyone's hands, and so I, I want to do that for you. Let me see here. I see some more questions coming in. Uh, there's one here, and let me just see if there are any more. And if not, this will be our last one. I take, And I promised I'll be here until I answer them all. So Bonnie said this is helpful. Thank you, Bonnie. I appreciate that. Um, Willa said yes, and... Michelle said, thank you, Steve. Really helpful. Bye. Hi, Michelle. Nice to see you. Michelle is a friend of mine from uh, elementary school. Or was it middle school? It was actually middle school in New Jersey. So it's, oh, this is what I mean. I just want to say this to you because here's Michelle, you know, and here she is opening her ears to new things that she never imagined in her life that, I mean, I never did. When I got out of school and I was eating the, you know, the deep fried wings and the you know all that stuff i never imagined that that I, I thought those people were weird so michelle like to open her her heart and her her mind to this that's why it starts with you and then you'll see your friends and family are like huh well w w is there another way and we start with ourselves we start changing our life by doing this like you know bonnie we start getting off the sugar we find we start making better choices. But the other thing is we start inspiring our friends and family so that they're going to live a long, healthy life along with us. It's not just about vanity. It's amazing that we could wake people up 
by starting with ourselves. So we become the role model. So thank you for being here. Thank you for that, Michelle. Thanks for being in the Juice Crew community, JuiceCrewTribe.com, because that's where I am every day. I pop in there. Uh, I, I post an inspirational message. I share some videos. Um, and I and it's free. I give all this for you for free because I'm committed to supporting you. So any other questions, I want to go ahead and get to them. Christine, what just do you recommend for someone with hormone imbalance? Mm. So again, you know, with aging comes hormone imbalance, and that's for men and women. You know, we can expect there to be some changes as we progress through the different stages of life. It happened when we were 13 and we and we transitioned into puberty and we became adults. And it happens again when we transition into later adulthood. I don't say late. I, I just say it adulthood, really, because when we turn, you know, when we get up in 50, 60, 70 years old, we're in later adulthood and we should really be aligned to live a full life into our hundreds once we dial in the right way to do this. There's no reason we shouldn't have to. So when we're experiencing, you know, in our 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, some changes in our hormones, the best way to deal with it is through what you're putting in your body and looking at your diet. And I'm not saying go to the pharmacy or the health food store and get the latest supplement. I'm saying the juice crew method. Like, I, I don't, I don't want to keep hitting that over the head, right? I don't want to keep, but I'm saying get that daily juice in your body. Do the green juice. Grab the template recipe. I, I, I said it before. We've got it at, at juicegrutemplate.com. That's www.juicegrutemplate.com. That, that'll put you on our email list. So you'll get my communications, um, and I'll, I'll keep you motivated during this, during your transition into all of this. But this, once a day, and I like this recipe right here because we can change it out and make all kinds of different recipes with it. I also like it because it's a green juice, but I don't abandon the fruit juices. There's definitely a role for fruit juices, and we shouldn't be afraid of that. We want to get fruit juices in our body and don't worry about that sugar. You know, you guys are worried about the sugar before. Let's not worry about the sugar. Once we start getting our body clean, we can handle sugar better. But it starts with cleansing the body. And what I'm saying is, and by the way, nobody committed. When I said, can you do dinner to dinner? Can anyone commit to dinner to dinner? Type in, I commit. If anyone can commit to doing a one day a week cleanse from dinner to dinner, and I'm just saying, you know, juices, you can have coconut water during the day, tea, Whatever. How about, it's just some green tea. What about it? Can anyone commit to that? Anyone. Can there anyone commit to that? Willa, thank you. All right. Well, Willa committed. And that, so what I'm saying is if you can start that daily juice habit, right, and you can start committing to the one time a day, I mean to the one time a week, Sorry, I was liking that comment. Um, then, then let me just double check that the, the uh, comments are coming in. Jerry committed. Awesome, Jerry. Great. Okay, and I see, and if you're watching the replay, then hopefully you're committing, right? It, and if you're not, then go to juicegrewtribe.com and say, I commit to the daily juice habit. I commit to doing this once a week from dinner to dinner on Sunday or Monday where I'm just going to have that last meal of dinner. I'm going to go to sleep that night. I'm going to wake up in the morning. I'm going to get myself 32 ounces of water mixed with lemon, fresh squeezed lemon. I don't even have to worry about making a juice if I don't want to. I could throw in a pinch of cayenne pepper or even a tablespoon of, of something like um, maple syrup if you want to balance and sweeten it up and just mix it up and drink that. And then, you know, for lunch, have a nice green juice or some tea or some water or coconut water. You don't even have to get the juicer out if, if you can't that day. There's so many other workarounds. I can't always get that juicer out. And it's been really busy here right now. And I haven't been able to juice for the last two days. But I've been making choices where I'm getting lots of water in our, my body. I'm getting coconut water in my body. Or I'm having some lemon water in my body. And so I'm keeping the daily juice habit. So we're committing to that one time a week. We're talking about the cleansing three to four times a year with the changing seasons. We're coming up on the fall cleanse, Christine. 
Um, and so we want to do a cleanse. We want, and then we want to start making the better choices as the, the gift that comes with this is that our taste buds, they, they start to change and we start to crave healthier foods. And as someone who is a junk food junkie like me, seriously, someone who's a junk food junkie like, I mean, serious, I, I was the worst. If anyone here thinks they could have gone head to head with me when it comes to being raised on, on the amount of sugar, deep fried food, soda at every meal for dinner, whether it be, what, I can't say the names, but whatever brand it is, every, you know, big glass, um, you know, chocolate milk every morning quick, which was chocolate sugar in my milk, uh, a big bowl of sugar cereal, whether it be, I don't think I could say the names, right? I don't want a lawsuit because they still make these cereals, but, and I had no idea, not to mention the cakes, cookies. And so when we talk about addiction, we talk about emotional eating, and when we talk about the fact, I'm not different than you is what I'm saying. The fact that I was able to turn this all around and make these changes and experience a life that left me without depression, that left me happy for the first time in my life, that helped me attract the love of my life back into my life. Because when I dated her in high school, believe me, I wasn't ready for her. I had a lot of evolving to do with emptying out what I held on to, but like those emotions and the things we hold on to from an early age that just stay in our body from the medications and the junk food that we ate. Well, when we can clean it out and we can get sharper and we become happier and we start to attract better things into our life and then we evolve into a healthy, happy mental attitude and we avoid the negativity and we, we cut off the toxic relationships with people and we become more awake and aware. So what am I saying? These are all just gifts that come along with what I'm selling you here. I'm selling you a lifestyle. The Juice Guru Method is juice fasting and daily juicing and, you know, and, and it's easy to do and it, anyone can get started. So Christine, that's the answer about hormone imbalance. This lifestyle is going to balance your body like nothing before and you're going to age easily. And even if you're still experiencing monthly um, discharges, then that gets easier. Everything gets easier with this lifestyle. And we redefine aging. I've said it's kind of cliche. You know, we were saying you can become an age boss. It's aging isn't what we thought it was when we were kids. And when we think about someone older, it was like, well, they're old. But it, when we make the right choices, aging doesn't have to be that way. So I was always saying, you guys, like, we don't, we don't have to have aches and pains. We don't have to be on medication we don't have to be depressed and suffer from anxiety and we don't have to suffer basically and we can let go of the fear that comes with doing all this because i know this can be overwhelming and that's why i'm here to answer your questions so i want to get you there i'm motivating i'm supporting you but i also want to get you there and share with you some of the ninja strategies to make it stick because we all know and we talk about it in our book we talk about it in juice guru Information alone isn't going to do it. We talk about how to make healthy habits stick, uh, those ninja strategies, and I'll freely share them with you here if that's what you want. Because honestly, I'm here to serve you, and I don't really know what your sticking point is. I can only generalize based on where I've been. So let me know uh, where what you want, uh, and, and connect with me each week here in the Juice Crew Tribe at JuiceCrewTribe.com, and we'll... You know, we'll go deeper together. I'll go as deep as you want. I've been doing this for half my life. Uh, well, more than that, over 26 years that it was that the nicotine came out the tips of my fingers. So at over 26 years, I know a thing or two. If you look at, I'll, I'll bring my stack next time of all the juicing books I have, uh, health books I have, because I just immerse myself in this and I can, and I want to distill it down to you so you don't have to spend all your life reading and researching and doing this. I want to distill all that geeky stuff I did so I can make this easy for you, fun. That's the other key word, fun. It can be fun, right? I get so serious about it. I want to smile and say, yeah, this is fun. Any other questions? Christine said, thank you. My phone's been freezing. Okay, great. And then, then any other questions? Uh, Alice said, I asked because my husband does not sleep. He has dementia and falls off the bed almost every night, and I have to call for help all the time. Thank you. Well, Alice, thank you. What a gift you are to your husband to, um, to bring this to his life. 
you know, what a gift you are. So, yes. Any other questions? Anybody, anybody? Bonnie did commit. She said dinner to dinner. So great for you, Bonnie. All right. Well, this was fun. This was, well, this was really our first time doing the ask about juicing, right? Well, I'll do these periodically. I'll come to the table with different themes for you. Um, and I'll be taking your questions too. So, you know, we'll open it up to community interaction. If you're watching the replay or listening to the replay, always hit me up at juicegurutribe.com. Post below this video, post in the community, let, let us know your sticking points. And, um, and just, and I also, I had posted this in the community, but I wanted to share it because I have over a hundred episodes of Juice Guru Radio waiting for you. So the shout out was, uh, Teresa wrote, I love listening to Steve's podcast. He has changed my life in so many ways. Thank you. And so that's at juicegrewradio.com. You can subscribe on iHeartRadio, iTunes. These are weekly. Uh, we'll be making these interactions into podcasts. And I interview some of the leaders in health, some of my friends that I've been working with for years. So Check that out at JuiceGrewRadio.com if you want to go deeper, if you want more inspiration. Um, but it's at JuiceGrewTribe.com that I'm with you every week. So let me just read any last questions or comments. And let me know also what you'd like to see during these. And I'll bring different topics that you might be interested in. Let me see here. Mm -mm. <clears throat> I'm just... I'm just looking in the community and the yeah, because these comments aren't coming up uh here we go let me see here am i in the community no that's oh i i somehow lost the community at and i have to go to juicegrewtribe.com myself that brings me back to the facebook page there i am okay under the video going live right now okay yes anastasia oh okay let me see Oh, Anastasia, you came in late. That's okay. We were just doing a QA and a and you can always watch the replay. <laughs> Curious what the dinner to dinner is. Dinner to dinner, you'll, yeah, you, that's a whole thing I did. So check that out. Watch this from the beginning and it talks about the Juice Crew method and the dinner to dinner and you'll, you'll get the, the download on that. Well, it said, can help, juicing help a person with poor appetite? And, okay, yeah, let's, let's address that. So, absolutely. And so, and so let's, that's the other thing. A lot of people will say, well, I'm underweight, you know, and I don't want to lose weight. And so what we're really talking about here is absorption. Our, when, our, when our body, when we're out of alignment, we could be underweight and too skinny. We can have loss of appetite and all those other things. Now, this is, gen I want to have a disclaimer. This is general information. I don't know what your specific or your, your friend's specific issue is. I'm giving general feedback based on these general questions. So again, we say consult with your doctor if, you know, if something persists or if it's, it really seems serious. We're not going to prescribe anything for you and that's when that that's not what I'm here for the Juice Crew community. So I just want to clear that up. Um so when we're talking about poor appetite generally, right? Cuz that could there can be a lot of things that's that's going on in the body that's limiting us from having an appetite. Uh, and like I said before, you can be underweight and just it's our body isn't absorbing the nutrients in a general, generally, right? Generally, we're not, we're eating, but our body isn't absorbing the nutrients properly. So we can be underweight or our body is absorbed. You know, we're just, we're addicted to food and we're eating too much and we're just creating too much fat and there's too much sugar and we're choosing the wrong foods. So, we're not eating enough fruits and vegetables and we're just, I mean, as a culture, we're not only 9% of Americans are, are getting their daily requirements anyway. So when it comes to loss of appetite, yes, this method that I'm talking about here with the, the daily juicing and the juice cleansing and the, um, you know, the dinner to dinner, like I talked about to start for your first cleanse and then joining me in the fall for the cleanse and juicing for rapid weight loss program that's coming. Well, that might be a, a situation you'll be ready for if we can start the dinner to dinner you might be ready to go deeper and do a, a real cleanse with me and the rest of our community and so yes when we get in alignment with our body when we start digesting our food better because we're clearing you know we talk about gut health jerry we'll bring it back to gut health and we start 
absorbing the nutrients from our food. We start eating the right food. Our intuition kicks in on what is the right food. We're operating from here and not our emotions. And that's what this lifestyle brings. So it's yet another one of those gifts on the back end when we it's there's so many reasons to do this. So our our appetite improves. We start but we start to crave the right foods rather than the foods when we were babies we spit out because really those weren't the foods that we were meant to be eating. Anybody else with any other last questions? And thank you for being here and awesome. Willa said, yes, I understand your answers are general. Yes, thank you for that. Anastasia, Anastasia said, you look so young outside of juicing. What's your diet like? I'll tell you this, Anastasia. And I explained before, so when you watch the beginning, I'll talk about where my diet was, and that was as a junk food addict that grew up on the standard American diet um, that thought you know, eating plants was crazy. Um, but when I started this lifestyle and the nicotine came out the tips of my fingers during that first juice cleanse, it just made me naturally want more fruits and vegetables naturally. Just, I just wanted more fruits and vegetables. And I found that as my body got cleaner and, and I eat more fruits and vegetables and I digest them, they were just really all I needed. Um, I, I don't feel I lack anything. I don't take any supplements or vitamins or anything. Uh, every now and then vitamin B12, but basically it's the most natural, cleanest way I could eat. I don't overeat. I eat less during the day than I used to. I used to eat all through the day. Now it's, you know, two or three meals. And it's, I mean, a typical day is like this. Like I'll, I'll have my daily juice, or if I don't have a juice, I'll have lemon water in the morning. Uh, I'll have a, a big salad or a big bowl of fruit. So today I had a big bowl of fruit. What did I put in there? I put in blackberries, blueberries, strawberries, mango. Um, what else was in that? Oh, I put in strawberries, blackberries, raspberries on top of that, um, which it was amazing. And I, I made like a little bit of a cashew milk to go in there, just a little blend of some cashews and poured it over there with a little bit of sweetener for the cashews and vanilla. And that was my meal. That's all I've eaten today so far. And what am I going to do after this with you? I'll have my last meal and I'm going to have just a big salad with maybe some hummus on it. And, but a big salad of, of red leaf lettuce, green leaf lettuce, maybe a little bit of shredded kale, some olives. I don't put on a heavy dressing like I used to. I don't put on a sugary dressing. Sugar Busters, the program we have, got me off that. So now... I'm more than content with just squeezing some lemon over that salad. Um, you know, I'm getting the protein. I'm getting, you know, the, the, it's debatable how much protein we need. We can look at a baby and say they only get so much from the mother's milk at 3%. But what? how much protein do we really need? And we start, you know, we let, again, we let go of the fear, the cultural conditioning around nutrition, the misinformation around nutrition. But I say don't believe me. I say, I am, you know, let's not put anyone on a pedestal just because Steve looks young today and he's got good lighting in his office, right? Let, let's not put me on a pedestal and say that. Instead, let's say, let me try it. Let me take what I knew before, put it on hold. Let me try the daily juicing. Let me take it one step at a time and let me know that I don't need to eat the way Steve eats and I can slowly get there. And by get there, I mean, start with the daily juice do the cleansing, you know, one time a week, dinner to dinner. There it is. It comes back again. Dinner to dinner is easy one time a week. And then we work our way up to maybe doing the cleanse three to four times a year, seven to 10 days with me, right? With a group I, or somebody else. It doesn't have to be me. It can be with another, you know, another health expert, whatever. Or I just say do it with me or do it with a group because it's, it's fun. We don't, I don't love, I don't do it. At, you know, Julie doesn't always do it with me. Usually she doesn't. And so if we don't have our partner, if we don't have our loved ones around to do it, I love doing it with you. I love doing it with you in our community. So there'll always be that opportunity. Um, so that's the protocol. Don't get caught up in what I eat and what I don't eat. Because the truth is someone could be a vegetarian and be m way more unhealthy than someone's eating a paleo diet. For example, I'm saying that as an example. Yes, I eat a vegan diet if you want to define me. But I don't define it that way. I define it based on what I gravitate towards eating, what serves my body, 
how I evolved from all that sugar and salty food that I was addicted to. The salty food's an addiction too. And we can, gosh, we should have a salt detox program at some point. But we just start to crave the stuff that's more natural because our palate changes. And then we, we experience heart-centered choices. We don't put any other leaders on, an, on a pedestal. And we start to develop our own intuition about what our body needs. So I'm never going to say to you what your body needs. But I am going to say, give this a try. We don't eat enough fruits and vegetables, and you're going to want more of the fruits and vegetables, especially once we develop the daily juice habit. Do you think you can do that? Does Is that doable? Let me know. Type it in and let me know if that's doable. Or let me know if that's overwhelming. Because I'm not saying do this overnight. And this isn't a sprint. It's a journey. And um, you know, every step you take to get there is only going to prolong the life you're living now. And so you're going to be there in the end with us. And so I say don't pressure yourself. It's not, it's not, um, it's not a competition. So thank you for that, Anastasia. And, and by the way, Anastasia, that, you got that answer about the uh, dinner to dinner. So good for you. Any other questions? And if not, we're going to go ahead and close out. I really enjoyed this. And I hope you got a lot of value out of it. And Bonnie says it's doable, doable, easy. We make it easy, right? This doesn't have to be hard, one step at a time. And no matter what your diet is, all I can tell you is start that daily juice habit. It starts there. There was a reason we wrote a book about transform your life by adding one juice a day. Because we said, even doing this, and my first book was The Completed Scotch of Juice Fasting, right? I, I, I was doing juice fasting, but I didn't realize the power in this and if you look on amazon at the reviews it's all five stars because this book this protocol is transformational and we're also endorsed by dr gabriel cousins and the juice man himself so you know you're in the right hands with steve prusak the juice guru i've i've been blessed to connect with the leaders in health for the last 26 years I've been able to download the information from them, plus the education that I've gone through, plus just living this life. I, I mean, all the information in the world doesn't do it. Living this life does it. Speaking from the heart and being authentic with the message does it. So if you're going to get certified as a juice therapist, and I know, Bonnie, you're thinking about it, it starts with you and living your truth and not just trying to make money by getting people healthy, but living this life. So start there. And that's where we go. And I saw some other commitments, and I appreciate that. I see that. Let me read these. Willa said that's doable. I can tell the difference in one juice a day. See that. It all starts with one juice a day. And so that's the diet, Anastasia said. Thank you. I appreciate your response. I'm very happy to hear that you don't like to define yourself by what you eat. Thanks. Isn't that a relief in this health world, right? There's a lot of judgment and negativity and this versus that and please in the juice group community we don't need to go there and um and i don't need to judge you and you don't need to judge me and we can just help each other get through this journey of life and what do we want at the end we want happiness we want longevity and we want to create a world that's worth living in and so it's through this lifestyle that we get there so thank you for being here and um, and I'm not going to diss the medical industry, and I know there's a role for everyone in this world, and some people need to visit the doctor, right? It's not, you know, we're talking about self-healing, but sometimes we need to take the medication too. So we're not dissing doctors. We're not, yeah, and you asked me about cancer. I said we have the program, but we're not saying avoid conventional treatment. That's not always the case. And I lost a dear friend of mine to cancer, Dr. Jameis Sheridan, who's in our certification program. And, you know, he was trying to do it naturally. And I sent him to Dr. Lodi. And I still to this day wish that he stayed there uh, because I feel like he'd be with us today. So anyway, thank you for being here, everyone. Uh, any last comments, Bonnie? Yes, I missed this life. It changed me so much through it, even with losing weight. I'm excited to do this. Awesome. So I... Bonnie, you know the doors close Friday to get certified as a juice therapist. Everyone else, go to juicecrewclass.com and check out that workshop that we did last night. And um, I think you're really going to get a lot out of that. And, and um, maybe you'll want to be part of the juice revolution after seeing that workshop that Jacqueline said was my best ever. And I don't know, I, I, I tend to agree with her. Um, I put my heart and soul into it. So... 
Go ahead and check that out. One final time, it's... I'll put it up for those, because some of you came on late to watch or sign up to watch the juicing class, because enrollment for summer is ending, ending, ending um, Friday. And we're doing something so you can get in uh, one of the... uh, I'll let it be a surprise what we've got for you once you enroll, but we've got it so anyone can get certified if that's the path you want to take. Um, Tuition shouldn't be an issue for you to get there. So check that out. Um, I'm just checking my Juice Guru uh, Facebook page just to see if anyone at Juice Guru put any comments that's not coming through because we had some friends there before. Um, But nope, that last comment was... I'm I'm looking from... See if I can search from the last comment. But I think you guys over in the Juice Guru, the Steve Prusak Juice Guru page, because we're we're simulcasting. I'm on the Juice Guru page. We're multi-streaming. And I'm... And I don't see any comments there, but we've reached 515 people there. And that's really nice to know. And 60 of you have engaged there. And I, I appreciate you guys. So thank you. Um, much love. And again, at JuiceGuruTribe.com, you can sign up for my notifications for when we go live each week. We're going to finish up now. And one last time, thank you for being here. And oh, I forgot to turn my camera back on. Sorry about that. One more, t- one more time, thank you for being here. I'm just checking final comments at JuiceCrewTribe.com because you guys are awesome, and I feel the energy, and I thank you for being here, and I don't see any comments there. So I know they're going to come in during the replay, and don't worry, I'm going to be checking the replay just to make sure that I'm still with you. Um, thank you again for being here one last time, and uh, let me go ahead and... and Bonnie said, yes, I missed this life. It changed me so much through it. Even with losing weight, I'm excited to do this. Oh, I think I read that, didn't I? Sorry about that, guys. (laughs) All right. I'm all for my salad. Thank you for being here. I'm Steve Prusak, and I'll see you next time.